Good morning on this beautiful Saturday morning. It is absolutely gorgeous here in San Antonio. And my name is Shankar Poncelet. I am your web developer and marketing consultant in San Antonio. If you don't follow me yet here on Facebook, YouTube, or anywhere else you see this video, now it's the time to do this. Okay, today we're talking about A, B, testing also known as split testing and here is why this is super super important so many business owners that collaborate with me that are my customers ask me shankar what do you think i should do in this case do i have a footer do i have a header is the price too high is the price too low and here is one thing that is very very important that you need to understand you have to stop guessing if you're guessing you wander aimlessly and you have no idea what you're doing so you need to test split test or a b test so basically you have a question and you have two different variations of approaches you could take okay so in order to guess you test let's give you an example I have an email that I send out every week and I give a lot of good information about intersection of business and communication. If you want to sign up for that, by the way, there is a link here on my Facebook profile. So in that email, at the very top, I want to look very professional. So what I do, I have this nice header image with my logo and so on. Now recently I wondered if maybe that causes people to not open the email or to not at least read it to the end because it kind of appears to spammy or it appears like a commercial. So the only way for me to find out is to test. I mean I could make assumptions but I have no idea um, whether my assumption is right or not. So here's what I will do. I will sent an email this week going out tomorrow morning 9 a.m. without a header image and I will compare the click rates of that pre precise email to all the average click rates all my previous emails and then I will know and that's the way you should really do answer these questions in your business step by step you make these que you make these discoveries by testing okay and one one other aspect of uh, testing here a b testing split testing is the sample size what does that mean sample size it simply means how many people do you have to ask in order to get a statistically relevant um, result and here is in general what experts say is that you should at least have a sample size of 5,000 individuals. So if you have two different variations, you want to send 2,500 emails to your sample group A and 2,500 to group B. And then you see which one performs better. Now, if your list or your sample size is lower than 5,000, then experts recommend to just send one variation to your whole sample size and then compare it to the average of the history that you have in statistics. All right, that's it for today. I want to keep it uh, very short here and I want you to enjoy the rest of your weekend. Please, if this video here was um, helpful to you please share it like it give me feedback and I will sure we will see us again here on my live stream um, probably within the next week bye for now